All right, here we are at the South Pole. My name is Zane, South Pole 2023 Winter Site Manager. Today is 27 November 2022. Today's temperature, at least currently, is minus 15.3 degrees Fahrenheit with a wind chill of minus 44.2 degrees Fahrenheit. Earlier today, it was minus 30 something minus 35 fahrenheit so it's uh it's gotten quite a bit warmer uh with uh, snow grains and blowing snow outside um it's about uh 2241 hours right now local and about uh <clears throat> 1241 hours in istanbul and 0341 hours in San Antonio. We're currently on Skynet, which is our weakest satellite. Uh, it barely has any any good connectivity. It's hard to do most things on the internet. Um, this is my 12th day here at the South Pole. And this is the first time I am coming to you via video audio and picture in this form um, it's been uh, it's been interesting uh, so far uh, here at the South Pole um, much of the crew that's here will be leaving and only a small handful of about 35 to 40 people will be staying for the winter and some of them aren't even here yet Um, today's Sunday, uh, my day off, yesterday was also a day off due to the Thanksgiving holiday, and, uh, yeah, I'm starting to miss home already, it's only day 12, but, um, the, the, it really, it really kind of sets in on you after the fading of the, you know, the honeymoon phase of being here and the excitement. It really starts to, to settle in, and you really realize how far away you are, and how isolated you are from, the rest of the world. That's okay. That's what I signed up for, and I'm ready for it. I'm prepared for it. But, um, you know, just kind of dealing with that and. And having to reckon with the fact that it'll be another year until I leave this place. Um, you know, that's a, a pretty serious and deep feeling that uh, that you need to, to reckon with. I'm here in my room. Um, it's my bed right behind me. I rearranged it a little bit today, uh, moving the closet, just making it a bit more uh, economical and a bit more kind of user-friendly for me and how I like to to be. I haven't been sleeping well the past few days, waking up at 1 o'clock in the morning thinking it's, you know, 0700 time to go to work, not being able to go back to sleep. I had a prank call on my VoIP phone here, my, my, uh, my internet-based phone number that I have here. I have a phone... Um, somebody was asking for, for somebody, I don't know who it was, but it sounded like kind of a joke, a young person. I've had a couple calls like that. Uh, it's a Denver-based internet phone number, so, um, I hope to sleep better, uh, in the coming nights as my body continues to acclimate and adjust to the 9,300 feet of elevation here with the barometric pressure of roughly 600 let's see what's today's barometric pressure 671 millibars making the altitude feel the air pressure making it feel like it's we're at 10,938 feet so that's quite the uh, altitude uh, difference nearly double what Denver was and uh, you know much uh, much higher than San Antonio or Istanbul which are both C-ish level. 
I slept well in my first week, and I think that was because of the Diamox that I was taking and altitude sickness medication. So now that I'm off that, I think my body is, you know, trying to get used to, to the sleeping. It's also incredibly dry here. The, the, the air is just the driest air I've ever had in my life, ever breathed in in my life, even in Erbil. Uh, such a hot and dry area it was there was more humidity in the air so my nose has been quite uh, blocked um, and uh, just trying to get used to it so um, yeah well um, I don't want to keep you too much longer um, this is uh this is Zane Zabel, South Pole 2023 Wintersite Manager, signing out from the South Pole on Sunday, November 27th, 2022.